How to play Scrabble. Every word counts. What do we need to play the game? First, you must have one playing board, a 15 by 15 in size, 100 letter tiles, consist of 98 tiles with letters and corresponding score values, and two blank tiles with no score values but can be used as any letter to cite. When it is played, the player must state which letter it presents, after which it cannot change for the remainder of the game. And tile racks, depending on the players available. A paper and pen to keep the score. Setting up the game. Set up the board in the middle of the playing area. Each player takes a rack for arranging their tiles and places it in front of them. All the tiles are placed in the tile bag or tile container. Each player takes a tile out to find out who plays first. The player who has the tile nearest the beginning of the alphabet with the blank preceding A plays first. The exposed tiles are put back into the bag and the bag or container is shaken to shuffle them. Each player in turn, then draws seven new tiles and places them on the racks. Everyone is now ready to play Scrabble. Play proceed clockwise. Rules of play Keeping score One player is selected as scorekeeper. They keep tally of each player's score after each turn. Exchanging tiles Any player may use their turn to replace any or all of their tiles in their rack. They may do so by discarding them face down, drawing the same number of new tiles, then mixing the discarded tiles with those remaining in the bag. Then they await their next turn to play. Passing or missing a turn. Instead of placing tiles on the board or exchanging tiles, a player may also decide to pass, whether or not they are able to make a word or words. However, should all players pass twice in the succession, the game ends. Placing the first word. The first player combines two or more of their tiles to form a word and places them on the board to read either across or down with one tile on the center square or star. Diagonal words are not permitted. All the tiles played in this and subsequent turns must be played in one continuous line horizontally or vertically. Permitted words. You may play any words listed in a standard English dictionary, except those only spelled with an initial capital letter, abbreviations, prefixes, and suffixes, and words requiring a foster piece and hyphens. Foreign words in a standard English dictionary are considered to have been absorbed into the English language and are allowed. Prior to starting the game, all players must agree on a dictionary to be used. Once a tile has been placed on the board, it may not be moved unless the word is successfully challenged. Challenging words Once a word has been played, the word may be challenged before the score is added up, and the next player starts their turn. At this point only, you may consult a dictionary to check spelling or usage. If the word challenge is unacceptable, the player takes back their tiles and loses their turn. Board room spaces The playing board consists of 15 to 15 squares in the playing area with grid lines to separate squares. There are special premium squares on the board with bonus scores values. Premium letter squares It consists a light blue square double the score of a letter placed on it, while a dark blue square triples the score of a letter placed on it. Squares. A light red square doubles the score of the word, whereas a dark red square triples the score of the word. If a word crosses both premium letter and word squares, all the bonus letter values are added up before the complete word score is doubled or tripled. The bonus score of the premium squares only apply to the turn in which the tile are placed under. When a blank is placed on a red, triple, or double word square, the sum of the tiles in the word is doubled or tripled even though the blank itself has no but when it is placed on a blue, triple, or double letter square, the value of the blank tile is still zero.